A major protest is planned for Mall of America this afternoon. The group Black Lives Matter says it will go on despite the mall's warnings of arrest. Black Lives Matter plans to protest inside the mall's East Rotunda like it did last year. Protesters are calling for the video to be released in the police shooting death of Jamar Clark, a man the police union says was reaching for an officer's gun. Kate Raditz is live at the Mall of America. Kate, the mall had requested a ban on these protesters from coming in. They did, Kim, and yesterday a judge granted a temporary restraining order on a couple of the Black Lives Matter leaders, but as far as the more than 700 other uh, people that plan to attend this protest, the judge said that the mall cannot prevent them from at least coming inside the mall. Now, this is the second year that Black Lives Matter has organized a protest inside the Mall of America. Last year, stores had to shut down temporarily and 30 people were arrested. That prompted mall officials this year to request a restraining order on Black Lives Matter. Yesterday, the judge approved one on three Black Lives Matter leaders, but said other supporters are still allowed to come. However, the judge did point out that Mall of America is private property. Mall officials have been very clear that no one has the right to protest inside here and disrupt shoppers. We talked to one shopper who came here early to avoid any potential protests. Unfortunately, when they did their protest on 94, I got, I'm a truck driver and I got routed through downtown Minneapolis with the tanker because it had 1994 shut down completely. So it was nerve wracking and so I told her we're going to get here early and get it over with and get out. The protest is expected to start at 1.30 this afternoon. Black Lives Matter uh, has been telling people that plan on coming that they should turn off their Wi-Fi on their cell phones, telling them they don't want anyone to be able to track them for when they are inside the mall today. Kate, have mall officials said what their plans are if people do still protest? Yeah, well, the mall has been very clear that people can be ticketed or arrested if they do protest. But I also spoke to a mall official. Uh, she told me that there are uh, bag checks at every entrance. We did see that, but she told me that they have done that in previous holiday seasons. So that's not just specific to today. Earlier, Governor Mark Dayton also said in a press conference that there would be 30 Minnesota State Patrol officers on standby. And we also heard a rumor that there could be a planned shutdown at some point, but the Mall did not comment on that, Kim. Okay, Kate, we will wait to see what happens. Thank you.